people. Well, my clone, you've succeeded in getting my attention, my full undivided attention. There we go, a little over an inch of rainfall last night. That's where we're sitting. So, time to empty the rain gauge. I think I've been very patient with you, my clone. You got me banned at Furry Potatoes Place almost three months ago. And now you've gone and got me banned at a couple other smaller channels. That's a pretty good strategy. Use my icon. Duplicate my name. Go stir up a bunch of shit in the channel. And then immediately delete the count. So that you can't be blocked. And uh, you can continue to use my name and crap over and over so people just come to my channel and immediately block me. I will say you did do it pretty intelligently. I can't fault you for that. But you are an asshole. I don't know why you, uh, you have a reason to fuck with me, but apparently you do. And instead of coming out and bringing it to me face to face, you choose to hide like a little coward and play your game. But we're not going to really pay a lot of attention to that. I just want you to know that you have got my attention now. You've succeeded. And uh, game on, pal. Game on. All right, back to the farm now. Today we are going to make eggs. We have a giant pot full of eggs that we're going to boil, turn hard boiled. And then I think uh, what I'm going to do is I think I'll pickle them. And uh, I had to come over and check that out. I was a little worried because I saw the smoke coming up pretty heavy, but I forgot that I am burning garbage in the garbage can. But we have, let's see, one dozen, two dozen, three dozen, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 12 dozen or 144 gross of eggs boiling right now. And uh, that's pretty much how it's going. I'm going to creep back into this other box where I planted the garlic from T Tommy Brown. That isn't doing very well for some reason. It's, uh, well, we have one stalk of garlic that, uh, one stalk of garlic that made it right here. The rest of these, well, they still got a chance, but they look pretty fizzled out. But they do have some green leaves, so we'll let them be. I need to come in here and get rid of this sweet clover that's growing and the rest of the stuff. The raspberries are coming. There they are. Soon we're going to have raspberry jelly. And uh, hey look, there's uh, one that's ripe already. Let's pick it. Look at that. Come on, focus camera. I don't know if it's my eyes out of focus or the camera is, but... Okay, so within the next week or two, we're going to have wild raspberries growing. That's awesome. And then, uh, we'll get some rose hips from the roses, and we'll add that into the jelly for taste. It'll improve the flavor, and it also improves the nutrients in it. Let's 
go over into this raspberry patch in it. Yeah, this has a long way to go before it matures. There's only a, a very few of these that are even close to matured, and they're real early. It's starting to rain out here a little bit, so it's kind of a gloomy day. As you can see, there's clover everywhere. It's even growing in the road. Tomorrow I'm going to be shipping packages. Oh, let's see, where are those grapes? The trees have engulfed my, engulfed my grapevine. I was going to bring you down and show you where the grapes were growing, but it does not just looks like they've been picked clean early by the birds. They weren't even close to ripe. But I see right up there where there used to be grapes. And they're not there anymore. Hmm, that's very, very strange. And as you can tell, there's cats all over the place. People think farms need cats. I swear, there's probably 50 feral cats here now, maybe more. They're all over the place. Every time I turn around, some guy's dropping a cat off because they don't want to care for him anymore. So they bring me their responsibility and it runs all over the place. And it's not easy teaching a cat to not attack livestock. I mean, they're predatory in nature. And a house cat, when turned loose on a farm, really doesn't understand how to get along or the hierarchy or anything else. So they have quite a problem surviving. So we end up having to put out cat food for the cats so they can survive. And the funny part about it is I don't even like cats. But it is what it is. But I do like cats better than I like possums. go back and give the eggs a check. Oh, it looks like we're starting to boil. Good, I can take the top off now. Okay, I guess I will, uh, I guess I'll cut this short so I can scrape the junk off the top of them and I can uh, keep an eye on the time. Thanks for coming to my boring, boring video and my rant about my clone. Hey clone, I'll see you soon. Take care everyone else. Bye.